Hi, this is Jay with Greenlight Group, and today we're going to look at a new feature in all my 10.10, .10, the drill through monitoring dashboards. So what we're looking at here right now is the finished product of what we're going to show you how to make today. The main feature that we're going to concentrate on are these drill through dashboards on the left hand side. The dashboards in all my 10.10, .10, as far as the wiring goes, is the same as what you're used to using in BSM and all my 10. What we have is the added drill through feature. So if we click on one of our items in the top monitoring dashboard, the bottom monitoring dashboard uh, refreshes based on our drill through settings. So if we click on our MS SQL card, then this refreshes and shows us what the drill through would be. Same thing with our filtered site scope events and Oracle events. We don't have anything in Oracle just yet. We do have some AD topology here, but no events. So you can see the wiring does work the same um, based on what we have, what we've used before. So if I click on an event over here, this topology on the bottom snaps to that that event, and then if I click on this CI right here, then my related CIs are filtered based on what I've selected. And if we want to go back to a complete overview, we just click right here. Then we see our event filter is changing along with what uh, what we have set in our filters. So how do we get to this piece right here? First, we need to go ahead and open up our monitoring dashboards. So that's uh, administration monitoring dashboards here. And as you had seen, this was the My Applications dashboard that we had built. My Applications right here. And let's take a look at this. Now, so you can guess this takes more than one dashboard to do the drill through because we're drilling through to another dashboard. So the top level dashboard would be My Applications. And you can see with these little turned up corners, this means that this has been configured for a drill through. If we look at our main dashboard you see that same turned up corner. Now you can actually drill through here as well if you click on the turned up corner you get this same thing here. And then you have breadcrumbs up here so then we can go back. So there's two ways you can take an approach to these drill through dashboards. We'll look at our MS SQL here and then go back with our breadcrumbs. So we have four cards here on our top level dashboard and then each one of these drills down to a detailed view of what we're representing here. So we have MS Active Directory, SQL, SiteScope, and Oracle. So that means we have to have an AD detailed dashboard, an MS SQL detailed dashboard, an Oracle detailed dashboard, and a SiteScope detailed dashboard. So the first thing that we'll do is build our top level dashboard to see how we want that to look. So we'll edit the MSAD events card here. If you've made these dashboards before, uh, you're seeing that there's not too much difference. If you've never made these dashboards before, uh, you can see really it's fairly simple. So we're just going to take the AD network deployment view filter that's out of the box with the Active Directory management pack. And we'll select that here and we just call this MSAD events. And then we choose the drill down dashboard in this drop down here. So if we haven't created our detailed pieces yet, we don't need to have a drill down right here. We can go ahead and design our dashboard without drill downs and make sure that that looks okay and then we can come back and make our, our detailed views. We'll come back and set this to where it needs to be. So each one of these is just is the exact same layout except we just choose the view that we want to represent based on our title. Then the next thing we do is we go ahead and create our dashboards that we're going to drill down to. So we have a Active Directory critical and major over 30 minutes, Active Directory 
critical and major over 90 minutes, the one hour history, and just all of the events that are under the Active Directory Management Pack. So how that looks is we have the Active Directory Network Deployment View, so that restricts our event view to the nodes that are in the Active Directory View. And then we create this other filter that just shows critical and major events that are over 30 minutes. So we'll just give you a quick look at that. So we take severity is one of major or critical, and the life cycle state is not closed, and a time created is older than 30 minutes. And then it will show up in this with this filter. And we just take that same filter and create a new one and call it 90 minutes old. And we just change this time created as older than 90 minutes. And we can apply that across the board. So we only have to make these two filters once. And we can apply that to any view we want. So in conjunction, we just get critical and major events over 90 minutes old against Active Directory CIs in the database. So once we have this laid out, once we have our detailed drill down, drill down dashboards created, we can come back to our main overview dashboard and edit that and add our drill downs to each of our cards on our overview dashboard. Now we'll come back and show you how we actually make this dashboard. So we'll go ahead and we click new page and we'll just cut this into fourths so we use the split button here and split this here so if we look at our actual page here notice it is just four sections so we'll move this over then we add our components so as we had stated, we need two items. We need two sections with monitoring dashboards because one affects the other. We just click and drag those over. And then we want the event detail, I'm sorry, the event browser and the top view. Now we don't want the health top view, we want the regular top view here. I'll drag this down here. So for the top dashboard, we go ahead and choose our My Applications dashboard, or whatever we want to call our top level uh, monitoring dashboard, and then we click OK. Now, the nice thing about this is that the wiring for the most part is already done. So we can go ahead and just click on this and everything's already set up, it's already working. What we need to do is make sure that we're not going to affect things that we don't want to be affected. So we go ahead and adjust the page wiring, make sure that the right items are, the source and targets are affected correctly. Come down here, we don't want this to go back up here. Make sure that uh, our event browser targeted the top view and the top view targets the event browser and we're set. I'm going to go ahead and just save this and we'll call this app owner 2 and there we go. So hopefully this gives you an idea of how flexible these dashboards are, how easy they are to create, and to go go to your management w with this tool and present them with something as flexible and quick as, as this um, to allow them to you know to get them thinking about what it is they want, what what direction they want to go in with you instead of you having to guess what it is they want to see. So this is a really quick presentation um, that gets everybody thinking and gets everybody on board. So again, this is uh, Jay with Greenlight Group, and go ahead and make a dashboard.